I thought Aya was dead. I thought Bran was dead. I'm happy for you. You don't look happy. Bran saw the Night King and his army marching towards Eastwatch. If they make it past the wall... The wall has kept them out for thousands of years, presumably. I need to go home. You said you don't have enough men. We'll fight with the men we have. Unless you'll join us. And give the country to Cersei. As soon as I march away, she marches in. Perhaps not. Cersei thinks the army of the dead is nothing but a story. Made up by wet nurses to frighten children. What if we prove her wrong? I don't think she'll come see the dead at my invitation. So bring the dead to her. I thought that was what we were trying to avoid. We don't have to bring the whole army. Only one soldier. Is that possible? The first white I ever saw was brought into Castle Black from beyond the wall. Bring one of these things down to King's Landing and show her the truth. Anything you bring back will be useless unless Cersei grants us an audience and is somehow convinced not to murder us the moment we set foot in the capital. The only person she listens to is Jamie. He might listen to me. And how would you get into King's Landing? I can smuggle you in. But if the gold cloaks were to recognize you, I'm warning you, I'm not a fighter. But it'll all be for nothing if we don't have one of these dead men. Fair point. How do you propose to find one? With the Queen's permission, I'll go north and take one. You asked me to find a cure so I could serve you. Allow me to serve you. The Free Folk will help us. They know the real North better than anyone. They won't follow Sir Jorah. They won't have to. You can't lead a raid beyond the wall. You're not in the Night's Watch anymore. You're king in the North. I'm the only one here who's fought them. I'm the only one here who knows them. I haven't given you permission to leave. With respect, Your Grace, I don't need your permission. I am a king. Now, I came here knowing that you could have your men behead me or your dragons burn me alive. I put my trust in you, a stranger, because I knew it was the best chance for my people, for all our people. Now I'm asking you to trust in a stranger. Because it's our best chance. 